Now to the staggering toll at the nation's nursing homes and assisted living facilities. One fifth of all deaths from the virus among the most vulnerable population. And it's not just the residents who are getting sick. The people who are caring for them are also falling victim to the disease. Here's ABC Stephanie Ramos. Tonight, the coronavirus killing senior citizens at an alarming rate. At least 7,000 residents at nursing homes or long-term care facilities have died from the virus in states that are collecting this type of data. That's almost 20% of all COVID-19 deaths nationwide. Nursing homes are the single biggest fear in all of this. Vulnerable people in one place, it is the feeding frenzy for this virus. In New York alone, more than 3,000 residents have died in long-term care facilities due to the virus, more than any other state. Governor Cuomo says many facilities are overwhelmed and facing staff shortages because employees are getting sick. In neighboring New Jersey, almost all of the nearly 400 nursing homes have at least one case of COVID-19. In Morristown, this woman says her father is sick with the virus and isn't being isolated. He went to the hospital, he was confirmed, and then he was released back to the nursing home to be roomed with another coronavirus positive patient. Families with relatives at this nursing home in Andover outraged and heartbroken after learning more than a dozen bodies were kept in a small morgue. The deaths believed to be linked to the virus, and now they have no direct communication with their loved ones, many of them dying alone. We don't know anything that's going on directly. We'd like to have some sort of say or input in what's going on with her. In Louisiana, this temporary hospice center dedicated solely to terminally ill coronavirus patients. It opened just a week ago, allowing relatives in full protective gear to do what so many other families can't, say their final goodbyes face to face. It has been very helpful to visit with my grandfathers, that his family is here with him and we love him. And... Um, we want him to peacefully transition, knowing that he is not alone. Tom, an investigation is underway into what happened at the facility in New Jersey. The attorney representing the Andover Subacute Nursing Home tells us in a statement tonight that the facility is one of the largest in the state of New Jersey and that the staff is cooperating with public health officials to prioritize patient safety. Tom.